Welcome to Block 20, Kansas Star, the last block of the Cheshire Quilters Guild 2018 Block of the Month. There will, there's also a finishing of the 20 block quilt, so there'll be another video this month for that. We're going to make nine square and a square units this month. And we're going to start with our fabric E squares and our fabric A triangles. And we're going to do as we've done for other square and a squares. We're going to sew, we have five squares, so we're going to do this five times. We're going to take each square and sew a triangle on opposite sides and press the seams out. After we've done that, we're going to trim off the dog ears and then sew on another pair of triangles on opposite sides to complete our square in the square unit. Um, once we have that done, we need to make sure that we um, square it up to be four and a half by four and a half inches. And I'll sh sh remind you how to do that in uh, just a minute. So right now I'm going to sew on all my fabric A triangles onto my fabric E squares. Okay, so here we are. I've got my blocks, my uh, square and a square is done, and now I'm going to use a four and a half inch square ruler because that's just like cheating. But the key thing is I want the points of the um, square in the middle to be at the two and a quarter inch marks on all four sides. So once I have the ruler aligned, I can then just go around and trim off the four sides to make my four and a half inch square and a square unit. So I'm going to do that for all five, oops, all five of the square and a square units made with the fabric E square and the fabric A triangles. Okay. So now we need to make the rest of our square and the square units. And these are going to be done a little bit differently. Here, now we have fabric B triangles, fabric F triangles, and fabric C squares. And we've got four. We're going to make four sets of these. But now, instead of having the same triangle all the way around, what we're going to do first is we're going to put a B on one side and F on the other side. And once those are done, we'll come back and do the same thing again, put a B and an F, so that we end up with the F's beside each other and the B's next to each other. So let me go put on two of them, and I'll bring them back here and trim off the dog ears, and then we'll line them up to put on the other two triangles. So here's my square with two triangles on, and I'm just going to trim off the dog ears. What I'm doing is I'm just lining up the uh, ruler along one of the seam lines, so that I don't trim the edge crooked. Now once I've trimmed both of those off, now I can come back and put on my other triangles. And it doesn't matter which side you put these on, you're always going to have two fabric F and two fabric Bs next to each other and that's what our ultimate goal is. The key is to put one of each on in the first step and then after that everything will work out perfect. So I'm going to trim up the rest of these, so on my triangles and press, and I'll be back here to trim them up. And there you have it. There's a square and a square unit with the fabric B and F triangles. And just like we did for the fabric A and E square and a square units, we're just going to center up our ruler so that we have the points of the inner square at the two and a quarter, one quarter marks which of course is made easy for me using this uh, four and a half inch square ruler. And there we go. I should have just kept trimming. And there we go. So let me trim the rest of these up and I'll meet you back here. Okay, I've got all my pieces made. So now we're going to take one of the fabric AE squares and put that in the middle. And then on each side of it, we're going to put those fabric F triangles to the inside so that we get our star in the middle. And it's just that different color in the fabric that gives us that uh, star in the center of our, of our block. 
So now we're going to stitch these together in rows. We're going to press the seam open in each one of our three rows, match up the seams, and stitch the rows together. Again, pressing the seams open, and I'll meet you back here to show you what our block looks like. And here we have Block 20, Kansas Star, of the 2018 Cheshire Quilter Scale Block of the Month. Please look for the other video on finishing your Block of the Month quilt with all 20 blocks. It's been a pleasure presenting this Block of the Month to you, and I hope to see you back next year for the 2019 Block of the Month.